Hi you guys, my name is Lisa Body Rock and I just wanted to um, come here and introduce myself to you guys and let you know that I decided to do the gastric sleeve a month ago today. So today is my surge anniversary or sleeve anniversary and I just wanted to introduce myself and give you guys a quick update and hopefully I can um, upload some more videos in the near future and try to keep this going. Um, that's going to be a challenge for me but because um, I work from home and I stay pretty busy but this means a lot to me to post. I've been lurking on the internet and you know watching a lot of the videos and I just feel like I, I should put mine out there too because it's something that I'd love to share. Um, I have struggled with my weight um, for years. Um, I've never been a small person, not even as a kid. Um, I've always been what they call thick or healthy. Um, and I turned 48 this year and I just decided enough was enough. I had tried doing all kind of things, um, tummy tucks. I've had two, one revision on my tummy tuck, so actually two tummy tucks. I've had about three different liposuctions on my stomach, my waist, my flanks, my inner thighs, my back. Um, I've had um, a Brazilian butt lift that didn't look really good and so he tried to revise it twice and it still doesn't look good. Even other doctors say they don't know what he did. Um, but um, so I've tried different things to try to make my body look right and it just it hasn't turned out the way I wanted it to because um, the obvious reason was I needed to lose weight first before I did all those other procedures I was just trying to take the quick easy way out and that definitely um, was not working and it wasn't um, quick it wasn't easy and it didn't work out so um, I finally decided okay I've tried several several di diets in the past gazillions of diets over and over um, from Atkins to diet pills you name it I've done it honestly and I know we hear that a lot but I literally have um, probably since the age of about 13 um, I was on diet pills um, before I hit um, 16 years old um, I have lost 75 pounds in the past myself um, after having a divorce. I think that's what prompted me on, but um, it slowly creeped on after about two or three years. Um, and I went back um, up in weight, and I haven't been able to lose that amount of weight again since then. And that was probably, oh, I don't know, maybe 14 years ago. Um, but anyway a little that was a little bit about me um, and um, what I do like I said I work from home um, I'm a realtor so I choose to um, office out of my home and um, my stats are I'm 5'3 barely 5'3 um, on a good day and my highest weight was 247 pounds and my surgery, the day of surgery, my weight was 225. And today, on my one month anniversary, I'm down to 205. So, I mean, I'm sorry, 203. So that's a total weight loss of 22 pounds. Um, I've been doing okay. Um, I haven't had any major problems where I'd have to go to the hospital or anything or see a doctor, but I've had some really crappy days. I, um, I've been in the bed a couple of days, uh, I'd probably say almost every other day, every two days I'm in the bed, um, especially after I've worked out a little bit, I get extremely tired. I guess it's because I'm living on such low calories now, my body's not used to functioning on that low amount um, and so any little extraneous exercise or outing I'm pretty much wiped out for several hours if not the rest of the day. Um, I've had to deal with a lot of reflux, gas, hiccups, indigestion, that type of stuff even when I take Prilosect or um, my daughter actually bought some cheap anti-acids and those seem to work better for me than the Prilosec does but 
some days those don't even work like today I had a really hard day today which was kind of poopy because today is my anniversary and I was hoping to celebrate um, but um, so th those have really been my complications um, just the indigestion the feeling nauseated feeling bad um, or eating too fast and feeling like it's getting ready to come back up and have to run to the commode and hug it um, for a few minutes but luckily I haven't had anything actually physically come up it just feels like it just a lot of pain and gas especially in my back my stomach my sides um, but other than that I can say I've been doing pretty good um, I have enough strength to get up and work out in the morning and um, try to drink my protein, I'm not good at that, I'm going to be honest, and I know I need to get at least 60 to 80 grams in, and I'm lucky on the protein shakes, if I can get a 25 gram protein shake down in one day, I'm lucky if I can do that, um, getting a little bit of protein from my the things that I eat. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to always keep this real and be honest with you guys. I can't do the soft food. Um, the puree baby food texture type stuff I try it makes me gag I couldn't do it from Jump Street um, I did a couple of things of tablespoons of mashed potatoes soup and stuff like that the first um, two weeks I guess um, but after that I couldn't do it anymore and my doctor wanted me to do it for three weeks and then do the soft food. Well, he actually wanted me to do the liquids for two to three weeks and then do the soft food for about three weeks. I did the liquid for about a week and a half, two weeks, about two weeks. And then I tried the pureed food for a couple of days. And like I said, I just couldn't do it. Um, I was gagging and I just, I could not do it. The taste was awful to me. It seemed all right if I didn't blend it, but once I blended it, the taste just turned into something I couldn't tolerate. So in order to survive and live and be healthy, I just had to eat. So I find as soft as food as I can and chop it up, um, mush it up as much as I can and chew, chew, chew and try to eat slowly. I have a very hard time eating slow. That's probably my biggest problem other than getting enough of my protein powders down. Um, and when I don't eat slow, I get sick. Um, so it's a quick um, behavior modification. I mean, I'll tell you, you know, some people say the, the gastric sleeve is a tool. I actually call it a big willpower. I, I, don't, I don't call it a tool because I can't use it. I don't see how I can use it. Um, but what I do see it as increasing my willpower. It gives me a bigger willpower, more willpower um, to make better choices for myself. So if you want to call it a tool, I guess that's a tool. But for me, it just seemed like everything's the same except my willpower has increased because my stomach size has decreased. So it gives me the ability to stop, to recognize things that I didn't recognize before. And uh, being uncomfortable really makes you stop and analyze what you're doing, what you did. Um, and then the next day, you really think about it before you do it again. So I, I call it my big willpower now. Um, anyway, um, so just quickly, I, I, I'm going to prefer, as time goes on, to break these videos down a little bit into sections, but just as a general get to know me today. Um, so my food, I am on soft foods right now. Um, I try to keep it very high protein, low carb, low fat, no sugar. Um, I am doing that. Um, I'm trying to get most of my water in. Some days I get more in than others. Um, I'm probably getting about 60 ounces in right now. Um, and sometimes, you guys, water days just don't taste great. So I might put just a little bit of crystal light in it, not, not the normal amount, but just a little bit to make it almost taste like flavored water. Um, and then I start diluting it as the day goes by. So hopefully by the end of the day, I'm on pure water. 
Um, I'm getting all my vitamins in. That's not a problem. Um, I'm getting my exercise in. I'm actually probably exercising too much. Um, and I backed off from some of it a little bit um, now. And I may still need to back off just a little bit more. Um, I'm just so used to trying to hit it hard um, and get it in that I'm still doing that, and I think that's what's making me extremely tired for the rest of the day. So starting tomorrow, I think I'm going to back off just a little bit more, and maybe instead of going, um, right now I'm going about five to six days a week, maybe I'll start going every other day. And um, I guess really that's it, um, just as an introduction to get to know me. Um, you guys, bear with me. I'm new at this. Um, if you have any suggestions, any questions, feel free to post and comment. I'll try my best to respond as much as possible. Um, and Oh, I didn't tell you the doctor. I chose to go to Mexico, um, Dr. Almanza in Tijuana, Mexico. Um, I'll do a little video about that and my experience there, too. Um, and I did in Mexico's cash pay and my oldest daughter decided to go with me so we got a discount and it would ended up being like 4550 I think it was um, so that was great pricing um, and I don't really have a lot of complaints um, the only thing you kind of feel a little weird not having a doctor to call and go see um, not knowing if there's any problems so I'm scheduling next week to go get a physical with a local doctor here so I suggest that if you go to Mexico to find a doctor here that you can get your physical with but anyway you guys until next time love peace and body body rock bye